Today, for the first time ever, we're making German Christmas cookies. So we're gonna be making Vanille Kipfel, Zimtsterne, and Linzerplätzchen. <laughs> right, Ella? So hey everybody! Hello. Welcome back to our channel, Where the Meg Falls. I'm Sarah. Hey, I'm Kevin. <gasps> and who are you? Hey, I'm Ella! Uh-huh. We are a family of six with four kids. And three pets. And what are those pets? Two hamsters and one cat and one of our hamsters are six. Yeah, one of our hamsters is sick and is on antibiotics. <laughs> 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 Getting better. Getting better, yes. And we moved from the USA to Germany in February of 2021, and we share our adventures with you here on this channel. So we are trying for the first time ever to make German Christmas cookies. So obviously we're not experts. We're not the baking channel that you need to come to to learn how to make German Christmas cookies. We're just gonna try it for the first time, so. So I actually got the idea for making these cookies from Kirsten and Jörg's channel. And Kirsten came to visit us, didn't she, Ella? On my birthday. That's right, on your birthday. And on my birthday, too. Because we have our birthdays are one day apart. And you really liked Kirsten, didn't you? She played with you. She played with Ella and her Barbies. Kirsten is so sweet. And we so enjoyed having her come visit. So yeah, Kirsten and Jörg have an awesome video of making German Christmas cookies, and that's what I use to help learn how to make this today. So Grayson is gonna be joining us too, and he is our second son. So he wanted to join us in making cookies. So, los geeks. Okay, so for our vanilla kipfel, you need 140 grams of ground almonds, you need 210 grams of soft butter, two egg yolks, 40 grams of sugar, a pinch of salt, and 280 grams of flour. Then you're gonna mix them all together in a bowl and knead it. All right, so you're just gonna put all the ingredients so it doesn't Let's roll up matter. your sleeve. It doesn't. You, it. you can put all the ingredients in, and then you're gonna mix it together with your hands. And I think you'll really enjoy this because it's kind of like playing with Play-Doh. And it will be the same for, I think, the both other cookies. Grayson. Mm -hmm. So I thought you guys would well, really like need this. Salt? You need a pinch of salt, yes. And all of the flour? Dump it. You guys say when, when it's everything. Just a little bit. That looks like a no. Okay. <laughs> sure, looked like a pinch to me. All right, Ella. Now you mix it with your hands like Play-Doh. It's so fun. Is it fun? <laughs> you need a Christmas apron. Maybe next year I'll Squishes in between get your some fingers. cute Christmas like aprons. Like mud. Like mud. My step mud is more messy. This is not as messy as mud, huh? Well, that's good. Because there's lots of flour in it. Mm -hmm. Last year we did many Christmas videos. We have a whole playlist of Christmas in Germany. And many of you said that it's a Christmas tradition to make cookies with your kids. And in the US, it's also a Christmas tradition. We make often sugar cookies. Or gingerbread cookies. Or ginger, in our family, gingerbread cookies. I mean, mm -hmm. Kevin has some German roots, so we think that's where that comes from. Maybe. And, but then we decorate them with icing, like colored icing. And man, the kids, they love that. And sprinkles and all sorts. Of yeah, sprinkles. Can we make Christmas? love sprinkles? Uh, well, these cookies we don't make with sprinkles, but Maybe we we, we can make our own sugar cookie recipe. How's it going in there, Ella? Good. You're doing great. Looks like hard work. You're strong. Your fingers tired yet? Well, right here. Your yeah. arm, your forearms are getting tired. 
Do you need Grayson to help you or do you want to keep going? To keep going. Okay. <laughs> So as far as I can tell, these are the three most popular cookie recipes in Germany. But let me know, what are your family's favorite recipes? And then maybe the rest of this month we can make other kinds of cookies too. Three hours later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our little hamster Ginger wasn't eating very much or drinking very much and she got very weak and we were scared and and we just Googled it and found out that it was probably a bacterial infection. It and it, a bit. it turns out that's what it was, yeah. And Kevin did the entire visit in German. <laughs> yeah. And also had to go to the doctor for himself the same day <laughs> or the day before. The hamster got antibiotics and I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> he said, go home and rest, sorry. <laughs> but he was right because you're better now, so. A bit. A bit, yeah. Ella, yes, that's looking good. All right, can we help you finish off the end? No, or, or maybe I'm Grayson? I'm gonna finish it when, when, when it's not really sticky. Okay. I'm the playlist. So now you take the dough and you make it into three logs and put them in the fridge to cool it for about two hours, one to two hours. So we need three logs, Ella. So let's break it into thirds like this. You know what already, thirds are? I already have a one log. You do have a log, don't you? We just want it to be a little bigger. Yeah, why don't you put that together with so, it? So, yeah. There we go. How skinny of a log should um, be? About like this, I think, because the cubeful, you're going to break it off like this and make shapes like that. So you don't want them to be too big. I discovered vanilla kipfel last year. We got them in the stores and I was like, what are these amazing things? I had never had one before. I've never heard of them in the US. They're not common at all. Mm. Um, and I fell in love with them. I was like, oh my God, these things are so good. But I was intimidated to make them until I saw Kirsten's video. And then I was like, oh, I can do this. Are you being a little hamster? Okay, Ella, now let's put it on a plate and we're gonna put it in the fridge. To, ch to chill, not cool, chill, that's the word. Oh look, it matches. There we go. Ooh, should we have a little taste to make sure? Does it taste good? Want a little taste, Grayson? Yes, please. Griffin, you want a little taste? I don't know, it tastes good. It tastes like dough. Mm -hmm. It tastes like dough. Okay, so for the Linzer Plätzchen, you need 120 grams of icing sugar, two to three egg yolks. If your eggs are small like ours are, then you need three. If they're big, you need two. The inside of a vanilla pod, 300 grams of flour, 200 grams of soft butter, 100 grams of ground almonds, and a pinch of salt. Now, Grayson is going to join us. <laughs> I want to try. Hm. Bist du bereit? Yeah, ich bin bereit. Ella's going to be the watcher and helper. Okay, so let's go. So we're making the Linzer Plätzchen, and this is the same process as the vanilla Kipfel. You just mix all the ingredients together and knead. So these are great yeah. recipes for kids. But then there's this. There's this vanilla thing. Yeah, vanilla pod. Uh, bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll scoop that out at the end. So why don't you just go ahead and start putting. All right, let's do why don't... it. <laughs> Los geats. Do I need both of these flour? Yep, so this is icing them? sugar and that's oh. flour. Oh, so I think they look similar. They do, don't they? Okay, now it looks much different. All right, Grayson. It's time for the big flour. Oh, well. Ella. <laughs> Ella. All right, egg yolks. Leave it. Ella. All right, butter. Yummy! Yeah, use your hands. You're gonna use your hands anyway, and it's gonna get messy. Oh, that feels strange. <laughs> oh, I don't. You don't wanna get messy? Grayson doesn't wanna get messy, but Ella does. So this? And a pinch of salt. 
So here's how I do a pinch. And then you, you do it in your palm so that way in case it pours out too much, you don't do too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you do a little pinch inside your palm. Yeah, like that. You probably do a little. It's stuck it's sticking to your hand because your hands are wet. Well, that's fine because... That's that's okay, I think, because because I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it in. That's true. You are gonna mix it in. All right, this feels so strange. Does it? Doesn't it feel like you're like the not flower? Gonna... The flower makes it not that sticky though, so which is nice. And what are you doing, little Missy? Yeah, definitely these are great recipes for kids. Oh, you know what we forgot to do was the vanilla. Oh. Smell the vanilla. Can I smell it? Oh, it smells like vanilla, but can in I smell a it? Way. It's the real vanilla plant. Mm. This is where vanilla comes from. The vanilla flavoring and scent comes from this. You slice it down the middle. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can use vanilla extract. But it's fun like that. <laughs> But this, yeah, I thought this would be fun because you guys have never... Maybe a bit more dangerous. Do you see the inside of it? It looks gross. Like whoever found this plant and thought, gosh, this would make a great spice. But actually it does. I mean, my gosh. I guess they smelled it and realized, well, it smells good. Maybe it tastes good. <laughs> now should we scrape out the vanilla? This is going to be yummy. You can also just use vanilla zucker. Vanilla sugar, that's common here in Germany. We don't have it let in me, the US really. Let me wipe it off the Oh, or you can use vanilla extract, which they have in Germany, but vanilla zucker seems to be more common, commonly used. In the US, Spilly. of course, we have vanilla bean pods, but we don't really have vanilla zucker, and we mostly use vanilla extract. So one difference that I've seen with these three recipes, they all have almond flour in them, which is not that commonly used in American cookie recipes, unless you're trying to make it gluten-free. But here, the three most popular cookie recipes have almond flour in them. So I thought that was really interesting. And I'm not sure why almond flour is more used here than it is in the US, but it does give it a nutty flavor, more of a rich flavor, which makes sense for German desserts. They're often more rich and earthy and less sugary than the US, so. All right, Grayson. It is your you've got it now, huh? Yeah. Now I'm trying a bunch of chunks to this. Yeah, good job. You really worked it out. So now we gotta put the dough into the fridge. Yeah. Oh, is it good? Burn. Burn. Can I taste it? it? We gotta put the dough into the fridge for two hours. Then Can we're gonna I roll it out it? and cut out the shapes. Okay, now I want to sweet. Try. Is it sweet? Yeah, because it has icing sugar in it. Should oh. we have put the yolks in the in the there too. Well, you did. That's just a little bit left over. It's yeah. fine. Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? Okay, so for the Zimtsterne, you need 350 grams of ground almonds. You need 100 grams of icing sugar. You need two egg whites which you could use from the Linzerplätzchen. You could use the egg whites from there. Then you need two to three teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, so for the Zimtsterne, you need a kitchen mixer. So we've got that. All right, Ella, so you put in the icing sugar. No, wait, I'm sorry, the yolks. Put in the egg yolks first, and that's all for right now, egg yolks. Yes, all the way out, good. Very nice. Now you take your mixer. Okay. This is the fun part, huh? There we go. Got it? Yeah. It says beat them halfway. Honestly, I'm not sure how much is halfway. It looks good enough. Okay. I think so too. But I'm not a real baker, so I don't know. So now we gotta add the icing sugar. All right, now stick it in there before you turn it on so it doesn't go all over the kitchen. Woo, it's still messy. Got it? Hold yeah. it with two hands. Let go. 
add the almonds and cinnamon and mix well. All right, so here's your almonds. You wanna pour those in? All right, I'm not sure how we mix them. If we do it with a spoon, how about we try a spoon? Make sure, yeah, make sure you're holding onto the bowl. You're doing great, Ella. You have strong arms. Bist du stark? Bist du stark? Ooh. Ella spricht sehr gut Deutsch jetzt. Meine Deutsch ist besser als meine Mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pro Ella pronounces words like so well. I, I mean, it's beautiful the way she speaks German. I'm trying to think. Oh, how do you say the artist, Benny Brandl? Benny Brandl. <laughs> but it's no R, so it's Benny. Benny. Benny Brandl. Benny Brandl. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Now we just need to add the cinnamon in. Can I add it? Yes, you can. Oh, I'm making a little mess. I don't think you can have too much cinnamon, though. Cinnamon makes things delicious. It's sorry, I'm really making a mess. Don't follow my channel for baking tips. I'm just here for the fun. Oh God. <laughs> oh well, I love cinnamon though. Me too. Let's see. Yeah, we'd love to put it in what? In your oatmeal. You are doing a fantastic job, Ella. This is hard. Yeah, it is hard. That is really tough. All right, so when you're done with this dough, it also has to be chilled for two hours. In fact, the recipe says it's even better if you do it overnight, so. I like mixing it on my hands. So Kirsten in your recipe doesn't include vanilla zucker, but the one from Chef Koch does. So I'm just gonna put in some vanilla zucker because I figure you can't go wrong with a little bit of vanilla flavoring. Oh, or you need a, a cloth, huh? Where you're wiping it all over your pants. Great. Guess we'll be washing your pants. Hmm. All right, you want to put in some vanilla zucca? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. We know that having a fake Christmas tree is not very traditional or very yes, German. But since we are gone for two weeks after Christmas, the tree will get dry. The tree will get dry and all messed up. So it's just easier for us if we have an artificial tree. But stay tuned. We are going to be getting a real tree this month. And I want to try doing it the German way and put real candles on it. So we're going to do that later on. We're just going to go ahead and do an artificial tree for right now. Okay, so you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut about this wide, a centimeter. Um, this wide? No, more like this, Ella. A bunch of them? Just start with one and then you're gonna take oh, it. Oh, it broke. Some of it broke, okay, that's fine. And, and you're supposed to mush it. it, mold it into the thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, they're pretty easy to form, yeah? Wonderful. They're not going to be like They're not sticky anymore. beautiful, but <laughs> they're not sticky anymore. So <laughs> when you first do it and mold and make the dough, it's really sticky. So yeah, it's really sticky. At least at first. it's not sticky anymore <clears throat> at all. All right, guys. So now we put them in the oven for at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. So what we gotta do is roll out the dough until dough. it's about four millimeters thick. That is how much thin. is that? How high is that? You think? Like this thin. Very thin. Very thin. Okay, and then we'll split it between the three of you guys, and you can um, cut out your own pieces. Yes. 
So Grayson, you're die dying. chunk of vanilla <laughs> flavored meat. You gotta stand up. Oh, and with the tablecloth, it's a lot harder. Wow. My hands are in danger. And this is dangerous. Hey mom. You want me to get started? What are oh, these? Strong, what are these strange vanilla flavored dumplings called, anyway? These are vanilla kipfuls. Kipfuls. Sounds like a like kind that. of fruit. Yeah, now we're making Linzerfestchen. These are the kind that have the jelly inside. Jelly? Yes. They're gonna be so jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Oh, Grayson, you're doing great, but it's hard that's isn't why it? these cookie cutters have a little heart inside of them. We're gonna fill the heart with the jelly. Exactly. Oh, and, and Daddy would be joining us, but he's over there. Well, he's actually fixing the Christmas tree right now, but he doesn't feel so good. Yeah, I help. He's gonna take a break. I help straighten the candles. Okay, Grayson, let's stop for a second. That's gonna keep it from sticking. Almond oh, mix. You're doing great. I know that's hard. Get hurt. Die, vanilla flavored dumpling meat. Die. Vanilla flavored dumpling meat. Grayson, does that look more like four millimeters now? Yeah. Okay. That looks like four millimeters. So here are the cookie cutters you have for the Linzer Plätzchen. So you use this one for the bottom, okay? And then these for the top, so that the little jelly pops through. And as you see, there's a little mushroom, and then a circle, a heart, and a star. What you're gonna do is you have to have equal amounts. So every time you do a top, you need to do a bottom. And they gotta go together. Like this? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so you do a top, then you ah, do a bottom. I get it. So that you have a sandwich. Yeah? All right, Grayson. We're the only ones left. Yeah, I guess so. We lost our helpers. <laughs> And we still have Zimpsterna to make. <laughs> I wonder if they're even gonna want to do it. I don't think so. Well, I think they will. We this was kind of ambitious to do three different types of cookies that we've never done before, all in the same day. That is kind of a lot. Wow, you're doing great. Here, let me hold it for you. Okay, now the linser plätzchen are ready and we're gonna cook them at 180 degrees for only six to nine minutes, so a lot shorter than the vanilla kipfel, but they're much thinner, so that makes sense. All right, so let's set our timer. Okay, so the kids have gotten tired of making cookies, so now mom is left on her own. <laughs> They're in there watching a little Christmas film, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the one from like 1969. So I need to make the icing for the vanilla kipfel. They are done. You gotta put four packets of vanilla zucker in the powdered sugar. That's a lot. <laughs> So now we put them in here. This is what I saw Kirsten and Yerg do. Oh, oh look at pretty. Perfect. My little. So you're supposed to put the powder on the cookies while they're still warm. 
And I've got two batches of these, so this is just the only the first batch. How do they look, guys? They turned out really nicely. All right, now it's time to roll out the Zimtsterne dough. And I'll use this and do little star cutouts. Then we bake them and then put a little bit of icing sugar on at the end. So hopefully these will be easier. It's definitely sticky, you need more almond flour. All right, so cutting out the Zimtsterne now, and it's proving to be pretty easy. Straightforward, it is a little sticky, but it's fine. Not having trouble with it. I already have one batch cooking in the oven. And unfortunately, I thought I bought raspberry jelly at the store yesterday, but I did not. And since, since today is Sunday, I cannot go back and buy any more. So this video will have to continue tomorrow. All right, my cookies are looking good. They look, it's like the almond flour needs to be more ground up. Maybe it's not fine enough, I don't know. We're gonna put the icing sugar on top so now we're gonna put the icing sugar on the Zimtsterne. The icing sugar is just an egg white and 100 grams of powdered sugar, or icing sugar, as they say here in Germany, and maybe in England too. So you're just supposed to brush it on with a baking brush. What's so interesting about these cookies is none of them have backpulver or baking powder or natron in them. So the cookies don't rise. They pretty much stay the same size they are when you put them in the oven. That's kind of nice because then you can put all the cookies close together and you don't have to worry about them expanding onto one another. These cookies themselves aren't hard to make individually, uh, but making three in one day is a bit ambitious and also of course recording makes it go two or maybe three times as long as it would in real life. So if you try this at home, it probably doesn't take you this long. And also this was our first time, so I didn't really know what I was doing and it took me longer to figure it all out. So as you saw, we didn't quite finish the cookies, the linser plätzchen were, we couldn't, uh, we didn't have any confiture, any, uh, well, that's what it's called in French. What is it called in German? Marmalade or um, jelly or jam in English. So we've got some Himbeer confiture, which is raspberry jam. And all we've got to do, kiddos, is you're going to put the jam on the bottom. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? It is squeezed us. No, what I forgot is I've got to put powdered sugar on the top. So you guys put jam on the bottom. Yay! You all, can y'all share? Let's squeeze some guts into into these lifeless little cookies. Oh dear. Really just. Not powdered sugar. Yay, nice. Only put them on the bottoms, okay? Which is the ones with no out holes. Bottoms. Without holes, right? The ones without holes are the bottom, that's correct. Just spraying in it. It holds prone. I'm 
going to take a little sifter, put some powdered sugar, which is powdered sugar or icing sugar, as they say in England, I think, in Britain. And we're going to sprinkle the tops with sugar. Ella, not yet. I gotta, no, Ella, I gotta put the top. <laughs> I gotta put powdered sugar on well, the top. Well, I know I'm not here. In that cookie. Leave the bottoms on there. Oh, it's coming out already. Gosh, you only need a tiny, tiny bit. All right. Hey, this is a good time of day to be having cookies, because why? It's cafe and kuchen time, right? I'm tired. All right, and Ella's tired, so how about you guys each try one and see what you think? Oh, everybody try it's one. Good. It's so good. Good. Very good. I think they have a little bit too much, too little jam in it. May just be this specific, specific one. Mm. I want to take the one that has the massive amount of jam in it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, which one was that that you're saying mm 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 on? Vanilla Kirpul? Mm -hmm. Oh. There we I go. say yes to that vanilla I love vanilla gifted. I already finished one. It has a good yep. taste and stuff. You like vanilla careful? Greece is over there practicing his shoe platter. Bavarian shoe platter that he learned in sport. You gotta try some. Yes, I the do. kids helped me, so it's a little uh a little messy. That's alright. Kevin's here in, in between his meetings. Hello. It's the middle of the day, a work day, so. Alright. <laughs> You're excited about these, aren't you? Yes, I aren't am. Aren't they cute? There's a mushroom, circles, a and mushroom. hearts. What are mushrooms uh, Christmas theme? They're herbst. Herbst, yeah. But I'm very excited to try these. Apricot jam might be good in them too. I wonder. Any kind of jam, I suppose. Yeah. yeah that you like. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. I'm not exactly sure that you're supposed to use marmalada. They look super yummy. I think these are my favorite. It's big. No, they're very good. I, I like them all. Um, the jam is nice. I've always liked jammy ones. I like, I really like the Zimtsterna too. Mm. Because they're very nutty and very, they're very, they're very different. They're very, I don't know, they're. <laughs> Much nuttier than the ones awesome. you get in the store. Yeah. They were not that nutty when I bought them. Mm. Mm. Those are better. Two days later than they were on Sunday when we made them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hi, Emma. Coming behind you guys. Yeah, they're very good. That's all right. If my followers world. don't know that we have wild chaos by now, then they do <laughs> not know our channel well. That's right. And then a zip them. Yeah, these are, they're very wholesome and. Ooh. Mmm. These are better like than the There's, day we made yeah, them. Yeah, they're softer. They're better. They there all of day. them, I, well, the, the vanilla cake from the zip stanner are definitely better. Than the day we made them. Mm -hmm. Very good. But this is these are really yeah. I, mean, I really like these now. You never can go wrong with uh, with homemade cookies. That's for sure. The vanilla careful were dry on Sunday. Today's Tuesday. We didn't get around to filming yesterday, so two days later, <laughs> and the vanilla careful are not nearly as dry. So mm. perhaps they just needed to rest and be like contained in a Ella stop. <laughs> And be in a container so that they can get a little, a little humidity, maybe. Oh, oh, very good. There's our cuckoo clock <laughs> from the Black Forest of Germany. Okay. Definitely. I was a little worried on Sunday. I thought, oh, no, I didn't do them very well because the vanilla careful were dry, but they tasted excellent. And I did. I wasn't too crazy about the Zimtsterne. They were chewy. Now they're perfect. Mm, no, they're very good. I don't know. A big success, I'd say. Our very first time. We'll get better each year. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining us in making our first Weihnachts Plätzchen. Do we say Weihnachten Plätzchen or Weihnachts Plätzchen? Anyone know? Oh, Grayson knows. <laughs> of course he knows. How do you say it, Grayson? Uh, it, you say Weihnachts, uh, Weihnachts with an S instead of an E in. Weihnachts, say it all together. Weihnachts Plätzchen. Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. 
The McFall re- Ella. <laughs> Just eating the sugar. The McFall review of Vinux. That's Jin. And we'll see you in the next video. Frohe Weihnacht, frohes Fest, and happy Advent season. Until Advent next time. Zeit. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. So, to know, we get the egg beater. So for the Zimtsterna, you need 350 grams of, um, no, it has to be done in a certain order. Okay. Let me get this ugly stuff out of the way. Beat the egg whites halfway. <laughs> I really want the other light. Grayson, are you being silly? Is this supposed to be here? Okay, Grayson. Whoa. Griffin, 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 Griffin,